Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to a toast to the men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button before we get started. Let's get to it. My 30-day fast and why. So, um, first off, what does this 30-day fast consist of? Okay, so it starts today, actually. So, for 30 days, you will not be seeing me with any cigars, any tobacco pipes. That's one. I love me some tobacco pipes, man, and some cigars, some nice cigars. Uh, no consumption of alcohol. What else? Um, and this just porn is for you. I really don't do this in my regular life, but uh, really no no starches. I rarely do bread or, or heavy starches. Uh, no soda. In my regular diet, I only drink soda maybe once every six months. But just some porn is for you guys. Um, I cannot eat before the sun goes down. All right. So, for instance, when I wake up in the morning uh, and just in my regular diet, I drink a, a bottle of water. Now, during this fast, that's all I can have water or herbal teas until the sun goes down. So I think right about now the sun goes down around six, six o'clock, six thirty. So I can't have a meal until then. And when I do have that meal, uh cannot be fried. I don't eat a lot of fried food anyway. Uh, must have a green. I like vegetables anyway. And so, um, yeah, no beef. I really don't eat beef in my regular diet. So yeah, that's, that's what's going on. So no smoke, no drinking. Uh, cannot eat before the sun goes down. So around 6.30 around this time. And uh, I can only have water or herbal teas until the sun goes down. Also, <laughs> this is a big one. No sex. Yes, yes, no sex. 30 days. And I'm married. And so uh, a lot of you guys are single, so it should be easier for you. Uh, shit, married guys may say, hey, it's easier for you being a married guy. You ain't getting it like that. <laughs> so whatever. But uh, yes, 30 days, no sex. And so let me back back up a bit and tell you how I started fasting a few years back. So, uh, and I mentioned this in the book, A Toast to the Man. A few years ago, around five or six years ago, I was going through um, a, a case, man, falsely accused, going through it, my kid's mother. Man, just going through it. Uh, a criminal charge was brought against me. Um, it was thrown out later, dismissed. But during that time, man, it was a hectic time, a stressful time. Uh, lost a lot behind that situation. And um, the DA offered me a deal two years in the penitentiary. All right. So, of course, you know, I turned it down, but they would, uh, you know, reschedule the court cases, the court dates, and I would have to go back every every month or so, talk to, with my lawyer, he would talk to the DA, the prosecution, and see what kind of offer they're making. But I told my lawyer from the beginning, I'm not taking any offer, no plea deal. So, uh, but... I don't know how this thing is going to play out, right? I've never been to the penitentiary. Uh, as long as I've been in county jail for six months, and I was like 19 or 20 then. So this is foreign land to me. So what I started doing, something told me, just in case this doesn't go my way, let me sharpen my self-discipline. Let me wean myself off of certain things. So I stopped smoking cigars, uh, stopped drinking, uh, working out, started working out religiously, and uh, 
I stopped having sex. And yes, I was married at the time, but hey, told my wife what I needed to do to get me clear, to get me right, to get me prepared, just worst case scenario happens. And so, yeah, I think I went uh, 60 days, man. Uh, no alcohol, no cigars, um, no sex, and uh, I was eating right. Now, what I'm doing now, when what I'm incorporating now in this fast is no eating before the sun goes down. I didn't do that back then, right? So, um, yeah, and, and it got me focused, man. During that time, it got me focused, got me sharp. And all that energy, all that time I had, uh, because smoking a cigar, man, you can you can smoke a cigar, it could take 30 minutes to an hour, the type of cigars I smoke. A pipe, maybe even longer. Uh, drinking consumes your time. Sex consumes your time and energy. All that consumes your time and energy. So all that energy I was storing up, that sexual energy, I directed it towards or channeled it towards art, creativity, and that's how you got the book, A Toast to the Men. I've always been a gifted writer, but always had an excuse why I didn't put in the time, whether it was my nine to five, whether dealing with the kids or whatever, I had an excuse. But during that time, I used all that energy, that sexual energy, and transmuted it into this book, some art, creative art. And uh, yeah, I'm proud of it. And so since that day or that time, I told myself, I'm going to do this once a year. And I've tweaked it a bit like this year. I've tweaked it a little more. And I got the idea of not eating before the sun goes down uh, from a guy I follow on IG. And he's uh, uh, acknowledging uh, or paying respects to Ramadan. You know, I'm not a Muslim. But I take bits and pieces from different religions, and I, I don't practice any one religion. I take bits and pieces from different religions, uh, uh, different philosophers, and so, you know, that's just the way I live my life. But uh, that's where I got that idea. So I said, I'm going to add that that little nugget to uh, my fast this year. And so uh, why am I doing it? So that's kind of the, the big why. What's so special about this time right now? I'm writing my second book, Palma Christi. Uh, I'm also co-writing a few books for people, uh, ghostwriting some books. I'm working on two documentaries. And I'm a part of a nonprofit, uh, Destination Known, with my boy uh, Leon Theodore. So, yeah, look that up, Destination Known, out of Dallas. And uh, so that's a lot on my plate. So I need to, you know, uh, conserve, build up my energy, my time, and really focus. And so uh, I do this. I'm going to do this every year, uh, hopefully, you know, till the day my life expires. But that's what's so special about this time, this year, because I got so much on my plate. And I just need to focus. And I'm telling you guys, uh, try it. Try it. It will... It will show you how weak you are, but uh, if you don't give in in your weakness, it will show you how strong you are. And so I talk about balance all the time, and that's that balance. Uh, you're not as weak as you think, and you're not as strong as you think. As you think, so that balance, man, that yin and yang, and uh, it also. If you're married or in a relationship, serious relationship, it also uh, garners more respect from your spouse because she sees that you're not weak behind the coochie. She sees that, I mean, you know, you're no simp and it balances her because she may think her stuff is just all that and you will or or you have no discipline to not go there with her. So it garners another level of respect from your spouse it, it has to man and uh it garners another level of trust from your spouse also so i saw the the uh the elevation 
it created within my own marriage, <clears throat> my own household, for her to see firsthand, have a front row seat of a disciplined man. You know, so it, hey, try it. Uh, it will clear your mind. It will rejuvenate you, give you a different outlook on life, about yourself. You'll learn a lot about yourself. And like I said, it'll show you you're not as strong as you think and you're not as weak as you think. So uh, you'll try that. And and the most important thing with this is uh, it's, it's a phrase. And Napoleon Hill talks about this a lot. And it's called sexual transmutation. I want you guys to look that up. And it is basically... Uh, denying yourself of sex and all that energy, all that energy that uh, you're storing up, you're not just going to let it go to waste. You're going to channel that energy into something else, to a higher level. Because if you don't channel that energy into something higher, you're going to channel it into something lower. But it will be channeled. Trust me, it will be channeled. And so you, you'll start doing, you know, lower, lower end self, man, low, low spirit st stuff. You want to deal with the high end, high end of yourself, your higher self, high spirit. And so art, uh, creating music, just being creative, man, speaking uh, on a high level, um, fellowshipping on a high level. You know, just your conversation will change. The people you want to be around will change. So it's been helpful for me. And like I said, I do this every every year, 30-day uh, fast. And I may continue tweaking it because every year I'm learning more. Or I'm saying more, getting different ideas. And so, uh, yeah, 30-day fast. You will not see me with any tobacco. And uh, I don't drink on camera anyway. But... You will see a transformation in me, right? I don't have a double chin or anything, but my wife said I got a wide neck. I don't think that's going anywhere on my broad shoulders. But you start sitting, some sculpting, some thinning down. You know, uh, if I could lose 10, 12 pounds, hey, that'd be lovely. So uh, I'm taking you on this process. I won't, this won't be a... Uh, uh, a journal or anything so every now and then i'll touch base with you on how the fast is going but you'll see it firsthand because i plan on putting out videos daily or if not daily every two days so you'll see it on camera the changes all right hey man comment let me know if you want to do the fast i'll give any nuggets of knowledge and wisdom i have um or give me some advice you may have some some advice i can take and uh, add to to uh, my, my repertoire, repertoire, and uh, yeah, let me know. Don't forget, subscribe, hit that like button. I'll see you later. Peace.